Hi, Ansolo Combo here. Here, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to paint using uh, Photoshop and 3D Code a paint, an paint an object that you modeled in uh, Maya, uh, ZBrush, whatever, 3ds Max. Uh, the idea being how to export the, the wireframe you've got here. I unwrapped my object already. You need to unwrap it, of course, to get UVs defined or you won't be able to paint anything on it. Um, all right, so this is my exported wireframe. Before, I don't know, I don't think you can, maybe you can do it now in Max 2017, how to export this wireframe to paint it in Photoshop. Before I was doing a uh, screenshot, cro cropping the screenshot and paint and all, but it's not very professional. How to export the wireframe clean. So, when you've got a modeled and an unwrapped object, you export it in OBJ. Usually it's the, the format we use for meshes because it's, very uh, compatible with nearly every software around. So OBJ, I call it carpet. All right. Now I've got my mesh exported from 3ds Max. So I go in uh, 3D Code, File, New, and you go there, Paint UV Mapped Object. You open the object you just exported from Max, carpet.obj. So I keep the UVs because I, I defined them already and I'm going to choose, let's say, a 512 texture, which is fair enough, okay? There you go. So now I've got my mesh here. If I press W, you can see the wireframe. And here in Texture Editor, I can see the wireframe. So from there, I'm going to paint a layer here just to show you. Okay, now I've got the first layer is the, the mesh information. Second layer is the color I just put here. But I don't have a layer wireframe, so I can't really export it. Uh, that's what I thought. So the magic trick is you go there in layers, and you've got, before I was using always texture, import, export, but there's something here, layer, export. And this is going to export the two layers we see, but also the wireframe. Well, it's not very clearly explained, so, but it works. Export. Color, you go there, layer, export, color. This will create a PSD, let's call it carpet. And in this PSD that I'm going to open now from Photoshop, there's the, there's the layer, ah, there should be the paint color, I don't know why. Well, it's no big deal, I don't know why it didn't export the painted color I just did there. Um, I've got a PSD with the wireframe. Usually I select this wireframe, fill it in black, which is easier to see, and then, uh, well, you've got, that's the best way to paint and respect exactly the topology of your object. I close this file because I painted it already, so I'm going to open my carpet painted. It's the same, except I worked on it a, little, a few minutes. Uh, okay, this is the painted object with the wireframe on top, as you can see, which helped me to paint and respect the shape of the carpet. So now I can remove the wireframe, remove the background because I need transparency and control alt shift s I'm going to save as web just because it's saved PNG but uh, a bit compressed. You don't lose quality, it's just a compressed PNG. I don't know, the default save as PNG from Photoshop creates huge, very big files and I really don't see the difference. Anyway, PNG24 transparency is on, save, let's call it carpet.png. Okay, so now I had a mesh from uh, modeled in 3ds Max. This mesh I imported in here. From 3D Code, I exported the wireframe to paint it in Photoshop. And now that it's painted, I can go there. Texture, import, color. And I'm going to open the carpet.png that I just painted, let's say in Photoshop. And there you go. You have your painted object. And usually, yeah, you, you can work only from 3D Coats, it's often enough. It's an excellent painting application. Uh, but sometimes I like to come back here, for example, because it's easier to see where was the fold for an object like that. So you come back there and you, you, you had a bit of uh, a bit of shadows in, a, in 3D Coat. Well, you, you defined a bit more your object from there because it's, it's easier to see what it looked like. You can still continue to paint on it and, uh, and make it look better. Uh, from in there, that's what I will do 
when I'm done with this tutorial anyway, I need to finish this subject. But that's the nice thing, yeah, you can continue to play things from there, play with the blending. It's uh, it's very much the same as a uh, as Photoshop. Blend blend uh, blended layers and so on. And that's all. So using uh, Max Studio Code and Photoshop, you manage to get a decent looking, it's very decent looking carpet, uh, low poly uh, for video games or something like that. That's all. I hope you enjoyed. I'm learning 3D code and, uh, and I'm showing you uh, the, the new things I learn every day because it's a really